How the Trinity Verse Got into the Bible The doctrine of the Trinity, which asserts that there is one God and three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a foundational doctrine of Christianity. However, surprisingly, the explicit mention of the Trinity in the Bible is limited. The most well-known verse that explicitly refers to the Trinity is Matthew 28 verse 19, which states, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Early Christian Interpretations The understanding of the Trinity as a triune Godhead emerged gradually in the early centuries of Christianity. Some Christian theologians, such as Tertullian, began to articulate the doctrine of the Trinity in the second century. However, it was not until later in church history that the doctrine was fully embraced and affirmed as an essential part of Christian belief. Influence of the Council of Nicaea The Council of Nicaea, held in 325 AD, played a pivotal role in shaping the understanding of the Trinity. The Council was convened to resolve the Arian controversy, which centered around the divinity of Jesus. The bishops present at the Council eventually reached a consensus that Jesus Christ, the Son, is equal to the Father. The wording of Matthew 28 verse 19 was debated during the Council. Some bishops argued that the verse should be modified to exclude the phrase and of the Holy Spirit. However, Emperor Constantine, who presided over the council, intervened and insisted that the phrase be included. This intervention ensured that Matthew 28 verse 19 would remain in its current form in the Bible. Acceptance and Controversy The inclusion of the Trinity verse in Matthew's Gospel was not without controversy. Some early Christians, including the Ebionites, rejected the concept of the Trinity and interpreted Matthew 28 verse 19 as a command to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the holy people of God. However, the majority of Christians accepted the verse as a valid expression of the Trinity. Significance and Interpretation The inclusion of the Trinity verse in Matthew's Gospel holds significant theological importance for Christians. It serves as a clear affirmation of the triune nature of God and the divinity of Jesus Christ. It also emphasizes the role of the Holy Spirit in the work of salvation and discipleship. While Matthew 28 verse 19 is the only explicit reference to the Trinity in the Bible, other verses and passages throughout the Old and New Testaments can be interpreted to support the belief. For example, Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 mentions the one God and Psalm 110 verse 1 calls Jesus the Son of the Lord. In conclusion, the Trinity verse in Matthew 28 verse 19 made it into the Bible through the influence and intervention of influential figures like Emperor Constantine and the Council of Nicaea. It serves as a foundational statement of Christian belief, articulating the triune nature of God and the divinity of Jesus Christ. Chapter 1 the Trinity Verse, an Introduction The Evolution of the Trinity Doctrine The Trinity Doctrine, which asserts that God exists as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit yet is one God, has been a central tenet of Christian theology for centuries. But how did this complex and enigmatic concept find its way into the Bible? The historical origins of the Trinity Doctrine can be traced back to the early centuries of Christianity when theologians grappled with how to understand the nature of God. The debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse, found in 1 John 5 verses 7-8, has been ongoing, with some arguing that it was a later addition to the biblical text. Cultural influences also played a significant role in shaping the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible. As Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, it encountered diverse religious beliefs and philosophical ideas that influenced the development of Christian theology. The significance of the Trinity verse varies among different Christian denominations, with some placing greater emphasis on the doctrine than others. Early church councils, such as the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, played a crucial role in establishing the Trinity doctrine as Orthodox Christian belief. Textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible is a subject of ongoing scholarly debate, with some arguing that it is a later interpolation. Despite these controversies, the Trinity doctrine has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine, shaping how believers understand the nature of God.
The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have also been explored by theologians, drawing parallels between the concept of the Trinity and other religious beliefs or concepts. Ultimately, the evolution of the Trinity doctrine reflects the complex and dynamic nature of Christian theology, as believers continue to grapple with the mystery of the triune God. The Importance of the Trinity Verse in Christian Theology The Trinity Verse, found in 1 John 5 verses 7-8, has been a topic of much debate and discussion among Christians and scholars alike. This verse, which explicitly mentions the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as one, has played a crucial role in shaping Christian theology and doctrine throughout history. The inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible has been a point of contention among scholars, with some arguing that it was a later addition to the text. However, regardless of its origins, the theological implications of the Trinity verse cannot be ignored. It serves as a foundational concept for the Christian belief in the triune nature of God, emphasizing the unity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For different Christian denominations, the Trinity verse holds varying degrees of significance. While some see it as a central tenet of their faith, others may interpret it more symbolically or metaphorically. The Trinity verse has also been a point of discussion in early church councils, where the doctrine of the Trinity was officially established. Textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible can be found in various manuscripts and translations throughout history. Its impact on Christian theology and doctrine cannot be overstated, as it continues to shape the way Christians understand the nature of God. Furthermore, the Trinity verse has parallels with other religious beliefs and concepts, demonstrating the universal significance of the triune nature of God. Ultimately, the Trinity verse remains a cornerstone of Christian theology, reminding believers of the mysterious and complex nature of the God they worship. Chapter 2 how the Trinity verse got added to the Bible. The early Christian controversies. The inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible has been a topic of much debate and controversy among Christians throughout history. The origins of this verse can be traced back to the early days of the Christian Church, where theological debates raged over the nature of God and the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Early Christian scholars and theologians grappled with the implications of the Trinity verse, seeking to understand its significance for Christian doctrine. Some argued that it was essential for defining the nature of God, while others questioned its authenticity and debated its theological implications. The cultural influences of the time also played a role in shaping the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible. As Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, it encountered various philosophical and religious beliefs that influenced the development of Christian theology. Different Christian denominations have interpreted the Trinity verse in various ways, leading to diverse theological perspectives on the nature of God. The early church councils played a crucial role in establishing the Trinity doctrine and resolving disputes among Christians. Textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible has been a topic of much discussion among scholars. Some argue that it was added later by scribes, while others point to early manuscripts that include the verse. The impact of the Trinity verse on Christian theology and doctrine cannot be overstated. It has shaped the way Christians understand the nature of God and the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In conclusion, the Trinity verse has been a source of debate and controversy among Christians for centuries. Its inclusion in the Bible has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine, shaping the way believers understand the nature of God and their relationship with Him. The Role of the Nicene Creed in Establishing the Trinity Doctrine The Nicene Creed, formulated in the 4th century, played a crucial role in establishing the doctrine of the Trinity within Christianity. This creed, adopted by the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, affirmed the belief in one God and three persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The Nicene Creed provided a concise statement of faith that addressed the theological complexities surrounding the nature of God and the relationship between the three persons of the Trinity. The Council of Nicaea was convened to address the Arian controversy, which challenged the divinity of Christ and threatened the unity of the early Christian Church. 
By affirming the divinity of Christ and the Holy Spirit, the Nicene Creed solidified the Orthodox belief in the Trinity as essential to Christian doctrine. The Nicene Creed also served as a litmus test for Orthodoxy, distinguishing true believers from heretics who deviated from the established teachings of the Church. It became a foundational document for Christian theology, shaping the beliefs and practices of the faithful for centuries to come. Today, the Nicene Creed continues to be recited in churches around the world, reaffirming the central role of the Trinity in Christian worship and theology. While some scholars debate the historical origins and textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible, its significance cannot be denied in shaping the development of Christian doctrine and the understanding of God as a triune being. The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have also inspired theological reflection and contemplation, inviting believers to delve deeper into the mystery of God's nature and presence in their lives. Chapter 3 The Historical Origins of the Trinity Verse The Influence of Greek Philosophy on Christian Theology Greek philosophy has had a profound impact on the development of Christian theology, particularly in shaping the concept of the Trinity. The idea of a triune God, consisting of three distinct persons in one divine essence, has its roots in Greek philosophical thought. One of the key philosophical influences on the Trinity is the work of Plato. Plato's theory of forms, which posits that there is an ultimate reality beyond the physical world, laid the groundwork for understanding the nature of God as transcendent and beyond human comprehension. This concept of a higher reality that exists beyond the material world is reflected in the Christian understanding of the Father as the ultimate source of all being. Another important philosophical influence on the Trinity is the work of Aristotle. Aristotle's concept of substance and essence helped to shape the understanding of the relationship between the three persons of the Trinity. Just as Aristotle distinguishes between the substance of a thing and its particular properties, so too does Christian theology distinguish between the essence of God and the distinct persons of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The fusion of Greek philosophical concepts with Christian theology was a gradual process that took place over several centuries. Early Christian theologians such as Origen and Augustine drew on Greek philosophy to articulate the doctrine of the Trinity in a way that was consistent with both the teachings of the Bible and the intellectual climate of the time. Ultimately, the influence of Greek philosophy on Christian theology helped to shape the development of the doctrine of the Trinity and continues to be a source of debate and discussion among scholars and theologians today. Christians who seek to deepen their understanding of the Trinity can benefit from exploring the rich history of interaction between Greek philosophy and Christian theology. The Development of Trinitarian Thought in the Early Church Fathers The development of Trinitarian thought in the early Church Fathers played a crucial role in shaping the doctrine of the Trinity as it is understood today. In the first few centuries of Christianity, there was much debate and discussion surrounding the nature of God and the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Early Church Fathers such as Tertullian, Origen, and Athanasius were instrumental in articulating the concept of the Trinity and defending it against various heresies that threatened to undermine the unity of the Christian faith. Tertullian, for example, coined the term Trinity to describe the three-in-one nature of God, while Athanasius vigorously defended the divinity of Christ against the Arian heresy. These early theologians drew on biblical texts, such as the baptismal formula in Matthew 28 verse 19, as well as the writings of the apostles and their successors, to develop a coherent and systematic understanding of the Trinity. Through their writings and teachings, they laid the foundation for the Nicene Creed and other doctrinal statements that would come to define Orthodox Christian belief. The development of Trinitarian thought was not without controversy, however. The debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse and the cultural influences that shaped its inclusion in the Bible continue to be topics of discussion to this day. Nevertheless, the significance of the Trinity verse for different Christian denominations and the impact of the doctrine on Christian theology and doctrine cannot be overstated. In conclusion, the development of Trinitarian thought in the early Church Fathers was a pivotal moment in the history of Christianity. Their insights and teachings continue to shape the beliefs and practices of Christians around the world, highlighting the rich theological tradition that has been handed down through the ages.
Chapter 4, The Theological Implications of the Trinity Verse The Concept of God as Three-in-One The concept of God as three-in-one, also known as the Trinity, is a central belief in Christianity that has sparked debates, discussions, and divisions among scholars and theologians throughout history. The Trinity verse, found in the Bible, has been a subject of controversy, with some questioning its authenticity and others embracing it as a foundational doctrine. The historical origins of the Trinity verse can be traced back to the early church councils, where the concept of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit was formulated and established as a core tenet of Christian faith. The inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible was influenced by cultural factors and theological debates that shaped the development of Christian doctrine. For different Christian denominations, the significance of the Trinity verse varies, with some emphasizing the unity of the three persons of God and others focusing on their distinct roles and relationships. The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have been interpreted in various ways, reflecting the diversity of Christian beliefs and practices. Despite the debates among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse, textual evidence supports its inclusion in the Bible, pointing to its impact on Christian theology and doctrine. The parallels between the Trinity verse and other religious beliefs or concepts highlight the universal themes of unity, diversity, and mystery that transcend cultural and religious boundaries. Overall, the concept of God as three-in-one continues to be a source of inspiration, contemplation, and spiritual growth for Christians around the world, inviting them to explore the depths of divine mystery and embrace the complexity of faith. The Relationship Between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit The concept of the Trinity, which refers to the belief in one God as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is a central tenet of Christian theology. The relationship between these three persons is a complex and mysterious one that has been the subject of much debate and discussion among scholars throughout history. The Trinity verse, found in the New Testament, is often cited as evidence of this relationship. It speaks of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in unity, emphasizing their equality and interconnectedness. For Christians, this verse is seen as a foundational text that supports the doctrine of the Trinity. However, the origins of the Trinity verse and its inclusion in the Bible are not without controversy. Some scholars argue that the verse was added later by scribes or theologians seeking to solidify the doctrine of the Trinity. Others point to historical and cultural influences that shape the development of this belief within early Christian communities. Despite the debate surrounding its authenticity, the Trinity verse has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine. It has been used to support the idea of God as a relational being, existing in perfect unity and harmony within the Trinity. For different Christian denominations, the Trinity verse holds varying degrees of significance. Some place great emphasis on its importance in defining the nature of God, while others view it as a symbolic representation of a deeper spiritual truth. Overall, the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as depicted in the Trinity verse remains a central focus of Christian faith and a topic of ongoing exploration and interpretation within the wider theological community. Chapter 5 The Debate Among Scholars About the Authenticity of the Trinity Verse The Textual Criticism of the Trinity Verse The Trinity Verse, found in 1 John 5 verses 7-8, has long been a point of contention among scholars and theologians. The verse, also known as the Kama Johannium, is often cited as a key piece of evidence for the doctrine of the Trinity. However, its inclusion in the Bible has been the subject of much debate. Textual critics have analyzed the Trinity verse in great detail, examining the manuscripts in which it appears and comparing them to other ancient texts. Some argue that the verse was added at a later date, possibly in an effort to bolster the doctrine of the Trinity. Others maintain that the verse is authentic and has been part of the biblical text since its original composition. The historical origins of the Trinity verse are murky, with no clear consensus among scholars. Some believe that it was added during the medieval period, while others suggest that it may have originated as a marginal note that was later incorporated into the text. Regardless of its origins, the Trinity verse has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine. 
the debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse highlights the complex nature of biblical interpretation. While some see the verse as a crucial affirmation of the Trinity, others view it with skepticism, questioning its textual integrity. Ultimately, the significance of the Trinity verse for different Christian denominations varies, with some embracing it as a foundational tenet of faith and others treating it with caution. In exploring the textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible, Christians are invited to engage with the complexities of their sacred text and consider the cultural influences that may have shaped its formation. By delving into the symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse, believers can deepen their understanding of the mysteries of faith and the ways in which religious concepts intersect across different traditions. Alternative Interpretations of Trinitarian Passages in the Bible As Christians, the concept of the Trinity is central to our understanding of God. However, the inclusion of specific verses supporting this doctrine in the Bible has been a subject of debate among scholars and theologians. While many believe that these verses are essential in affirming the triune nature of God, there are alternative interpretations that offer different perspectives on these passages. One alternative interpretation suggests that the Trinitarian passages in the Bible can be understood metaphorically rather than as literal descriptions of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as distinct persons. According to this view, these passages are meant to convey the unity and interconnectedness of God rather than a strict Trinitarian formula. Another interpretation proposes that the Trinitarian passages are later additions to the biblical text, influenced by cultural and theological developments in early Christianity. Some scholars argue that these verses were inserted to align Christian beliefs with prevailing Greco-Roman philosophical ideas about divine triads. Furthermore, some theologians suggest that the Trinitarian passages should be interpreted in light of the historical context in which they were written. By examining the cultural influences and theological debates of the time, we can gain a deeper understanding of how these passages were shaped and interpreted by early Christian communities. While the debate about the authenticity and significance of Trinitarian passages in the Bible continues, it is important for Christians to engage with these alternative interpretations to enrich our understanding of the complex and mysterious nature of God. By exploring different perspectives on the Trinity, we can deepen our faith and appreciation for the diverse ways in which God is revealed to us through Scripture. Chapter 6 – The Cultural Influences That Shaped the Inclusion of the Trinity Verse in the Bible The Influence of Roman Imperialism on Christian Doctrine The history of Christianity is deeply intertwined with the history of the Roman Empire, and this connection had a significant impact on the development of Christian doctrine. One key aspect of this influence was the role that Roman imperialism played in shaping the beliefs and teachings of early Christians. During the early centuries of Christianity, the Roman Empire was a dominant force in the Mediterranean world. As Christianity spread throughout the empire, it encountered a variety of cultural influences, including the imperial cult of Rome. The Romans worshipped their emperors as gods, a practice that was at odds with the monotheistic beliefs of early Christians. In order to navigate this cultural landscape, early Christian leaders began to develop theological concepts that would set Christianity apart from the imperial cult. One of the most important of these concepts was the doctrine of the Trinity, which asserted that God exists as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in one divine being. The Trinity verse, which later found its way into the Bible, was a key element of this doctrine. It served to solidify the idea of a triune Godhead, providing a theological framework that could both coexist with and challenge the imperial cult's beliefs. The inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible was not without controversy, however. Some scholars have debated its authenticity, questioning whether it was added later to support a particular theological agenda. Despite these debates, the Trinity verse has remained a central tenet of Christian theology, shaping the beliefs of numerous Christian denominations. Overall, the influence of Roman imperialism on Christian doctrine cannot be overstated. The cultural and theological challenges posed by the imperial cult forced early Christians to develop new ways of understanding and articulating their faith, ultimately leading to the development of the Trinity doctrine and the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible. The Syncretism of Christian Beliefs with Pagan Traditions 
Throughout history, the development of Christian beliefs has been influenced by a variety of factors, including the incorporation of pagan traditions. The syncretism of Christian beliefs with pagan traditions has played a significant role in shaping the theology and doctrine of the Christian faith, particularly in relation to the Trinity verse. One of the key aspects of this syncretism is the historical origins of the Trinity verse. Scholars have debated the authenticity of this verse, with some arguing that it was added to the Bible at a later date to align with pagan beliefs and triune deities. The cultural influences that shaped the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible cannot be ignored, as early Christians sought to appeal to a wider audience by incorporating elements of pagan belief systems. The significance of the Trinity verse for different Christian denominations varies, with some placing a greater emphasis on this doctrine than others. Early church councils played a crucial role in establishing the Trinity doctrine, using textual evidence to support its inclusion in the Bible. The impact of the Trinity verse on Christian theology and doctrine has been profound, leading to debates among scholars about its symbolism and metaphorical meaning. Some have drawn parallels between the Trinity verse and other religious beliefs or concepts, further highlighting the syncretism of Christian beliefs with pagan traditions. As Christians, it is important to critically examine the historical origins and cultural influences that have shaped our beliefs, including the incorporation of pagan traditions into the theology and doctrine of the Christian faith. By understanding the syncretism of Christian beliefs with pagan traditions, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of our religious heritage. Chapter 7 The Significance of the Trinity Verse for Different Christian Denominations The Trinity in Catholicism the Trinity in Catholicism. The concept of the Trinity in Catholicism is a fundamental belief that distinguishes Christian theology from other monotheistic religions. The Trinity refers to the belief in one God who exists in three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. This concept is not explicitly stated in the Bible but is derived from passages that suggest the three persons of the Godhead. The historical origins of the Trinity verse can be traced back to the early church councils, such as the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD and the Council of Constantinople in 381 AD, where the doctrine of the Trinity was formalized and established as a core tenet of Christian faith. These councils debated and defined the nature of the Trinity, addressing questions about the relationship between the three persons and their equality in divinity. Despite the theological implications of the Trinity verse, there has been ongoing debate among scholars about its authenticity and textual support in the Bible. Some argue that the Trinity verse was influenced by cultural beliefs and practices, while others believe it was a natural development of Christian theology. The significance of the Trinity verse varies among different Christian denominations, with some placing more emphasis on the unity of the three persons, while others focus on their distinct roles and functions. The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have also been interpreted in various ways, reflecting the diverse interpretations within Christian tradition. Overall, the Trinity verse has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine, shaping the way believers understand and worship God. Its parallels with other religious beliefs and concepts highlight the universal appeal and enduring relevance of the Trinity in Catholicism. The Trinity in Protestantism the concept of the Trinity, the belief in one God existing in three persons Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a cornerstone of Christian theology. In Protestantism, the Trinity verse plays a crucial role in shaping beliefs and practices within the faith. The historical origins of the Trinity verse can be traced back to early church councils, where theologians and scholars debated and formulated the doctrine of the Trinity. The inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible was a result of these debates and theological discussions, solidifying the belief in the triune nature of God. Despite the widespread acceptance of the Trinity verse among Christians, there has been ongoing debate among scholars about its authenticity. Some argue that the Trinity verse was added to the Bible later, while others maintain that it has always been a part of Christian doctrine. The significance of the Trinity verse for different Christian denominations varies with some placing more emphasis on the role of each person in the Trinity, while others focus on the unity of God. 
The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have also been explored, with parallels drawn between the concept of the Trinity and other religious beliefs or concepts. Overall, the Trinity verse continues to impact Christian theology and doctrine, shaping the way believers understand and worship God. Its inclusion in the Bible reflects the cultural influences and theological developments of early Christianity, highlighting the complex and multifaceted nature of the Christian faith. Chapter 8 The Role of Early Church Councils in Establishing the Trinity Doctrine The Council of Nicaea The Council of Nicaea holds a significant place in the history of Christianity, particularly in relation to the development of the doctrine of the Trinity. This pivotal event took place in 325 AD, bringing together bishops and theologians from across the Christian world to address theological disputes that were dividing the early church. At the heart of the Council of Nicaea was the debate over the nature of the relationship between God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The Council aimed to establish a unified understanding of the Trinity, affirming that these three entities are co-equal and co-eternal. This decision shaped the theological landscape of Christianity for centuries to come. The Council's decree, known as the Nicene Creed, became a foundational statement of faith for many Christian denominations. It affirmed the belief in one God and three persons, a concept that continues to be central to Christian theology. While the Council of Nicaea played a crucial role in solidifying the doctrine of the Trinity, it also sparked ongoing debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse in the Bible. Some argue that the inclusion of this verse was influenced by cultural and political factors, rather than purely theological considerations. Despite these debates, the impact of the Trinity verse on Christian theology and doctrine cannot be overstated. It has shaped the way Christians understand the nature of God and continues to be a source of inspiration and contemplation for believers around the world. Overall, the Council of Nicaea stands as a pivotal moment in the history of Christianity, reflecting the complex interplay of theological, cultural, and political forces that have shaped the development of Christian doctrine. Christians of all denominations continue to grapple with the implications of the Trinity verse, seeking to deepen their understanding of the mysteries it contains. The Council of Chalcedon The Council of Chalcedon, held in 451 AD, was a pivotal moment in the history of Christianity and the development of the Trinity doctrine. At this council, the nature of Christ was a central topic of discussion, with many different theological viewpoints being debated. The decision made at the Council of Chalcedon affirmed the belief in the Trinity, which holds that God exists as three persons in one essence, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. This doctrine became foundational for many Christian denominations and has shaped Christian theology and doctrine for centuries. The debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse, often referred to as the Johannine comma, 1 John 5 verses 7 to 8, has been ongoing. Some argue that it was a later addition to the Bible, while others believe it is an integral part of the Christian faith. The textual evidence supporting its inclusion is still a topic of discussion among biblical scholars. The cultural influences that shaped the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible cannot be ignored. The political and religious climate of the time played a significant role in the establishment of the Trinity doctrine, as early church councils sought to solidify Christian beliefs in the face of theological controversies. For different Christian denominations, the significance of the Trinity verse varies. Some place a strong emphasis on the doctrine of the Trinity, while others may interpret it in a more symbolic or metaphorical way. The parallels between the Trinity verse and other religious beliefs or concepts have also been a topic of exploration for scholars and theologians. In conclusion, the Council of Chalcedon was a crucial moment in the history of Christianity, shaping the Trinity doctrine and influencing Christian theology for centuries to come. The debate surrounding the Trinity verse continues to spark discussion and reflection among Christians, highlighting the complexity and depth of this foundational belief. Chapter 9 The Textual Evidence Supporting the Inclusion of the Trinity Verse in the Bible Biblical Passages Supporting the Trinity Doctrine The concept of the Trinity, the belief in God as three persons in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a fundamental doctrine in Christianity. 
While the word Trinity is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible, there are several passages that support this belief. One of the key passages often cited in support of the Trinity doctrine is found in the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus commands his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Matthew 28 verse 19. This verse has been interpreted by many Christians as evidence of the three distinct persons within the Godhead. Another important passage is found in the Gospel of John, where Jesus speaks of the Father sending the Holy Spirit to be with his disciples, John 14 verse 26. This verse highlights the interconnectedness of the three persons of the Trinity and their roles in the life of believers. The Apostle Paul also references the Trinity in his letters, such as in 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 where he writes, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This verse emphasizes the unity and cooperation of the three persons of the Trinity in the lives of believers. While these passages do not explicitly spell out the doctrine of the Trinity, they provide biblical support for the belief in God as three persons in one. Christians have looked to these verses for centuries as evidence of the triune nature of God and the interconnectedness of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity Verse in Different Bible Translations The concept of the Trinity has been a central tenet of Christian theology for centuries, with the belief in one God existing in three persons Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One of the key verses used to support this doctrine is found in the Bible, specifically in 1 John 5 verses 7-8. However, the inclusion of this verse in the Bible has sparked much debate among scholars and theologians. The Trinity verse, also known as the Comma Johannium, states, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. This verse has been included in some Bible translations, while others have omitted it due to questions about its authenticity. Different Bible translations vary in their treatment of the Trinity verse. Some versions, such as the King James Version, include the verse in its entirety, while others, like the New International Version, provide a footnote indicating that it is not found in the earliest manuscripts. The debate over the authenticity of the Trinity verse highlights the complex history of how certain doctrines and beliefs became established within Christianity. The inclusion of this verse in the Bible was influenced by cultural factors, theological debates, and the decisions of early church councils. Despite the controversy surrounding the Trinity verse, it continues to hold significant theological importance for many Christian denominations. The verse has shaped Christian doctrine and theology emphasizing the unity and diversity within the Godhead. Overall, the Trinity verse serves as a symbolic and metaphorical expression of the complex nature of God and Christian belief. While its inclusion in the Bible remains a topic of debate among scholars, its impact on Christian theology and doctrine cannot be denied. Chapter 10 – The Impact of the Trinity Verse on Christian Theology and Doctrine The Trinity and Salvation the concept of the Trinity, the belief in God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a central tenet of Christian faith. The Trinity plays a crucial role in the salvation of mankind, as each person of the Trinity has a unique role in the process of redemption. The Father, as the Creator of the universe, sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to earth to save humanity from sin. Through His death and resurrection, Jesus provided a way for believers to be reconciled with God and receive eternal life. The Holy Spirit, sent by the Father and Son, empowers believers to live a life of faith and obedience, guiding them in their journey toward salvation. The Trinity verse, found in Matthew 28 verse 19 where Jesus commands His disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, has been a key passage used to support the doctrine of the Trinity. While some scholars debate the authenticity of this verse, its inclusion in the Bible has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine. Early church councils played a significant role in establishing the doctrine of the Trinity, affirming the belief in three persons in one God. The Trinity verse has been a source of unity among different Christian denominations, despite their theological differences. The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have been explored by theologians 
drawing parallels between the concept of the Trinity and other religious beliefs or concepts. Ultimately, the Trinity in salvation highlights the interconnectedness of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the redemption of mankind, emphasizing the unity and diversity within the Godhead. The Trinity in Worship and Liturgy For Christians, the concept of the Trinity is a fundamental aspect of their faith, influencing not only their theological beliefs but also their worship practices and liturgy. The Trinity verse, which speaks of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit being one, has played a significant role in shaping Christian worship throughout history. The historical origins of the Trinity verse can be traced back to the early church councils, where theologians and scholars debated the nature of God and the relationship between the three persons of the Trinity. These debates led to the establishment of the Trinity doctrine, which was eventually incorporated into the Bible. Despite the debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse, its inclusion in the Bible has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine. Different Christian denominations interpret the Trinity verse in various ways, with some placing more emphasis on the unity of the three persons, while others focus on their distinctiveness. The symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity verse have also influenced Christian worship and liturgy. Many churches incorporate references to the Trinity in their prayers, hymns, and sacraments, highlighting the interconnectedness of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Overall, the Trinity verse has become a central aspect of Christian worship, serving as a reminder of the complex and mysterious nature of God. Its inclusion in the Bible reflects the cultural influences and theological debates of the early church, shaping the way Christians understand and worship the triune God. Chapter 11 The Symbolism and Metaphorical Meaning of the Trinity Verse The Trinity as a Symbol of Unity and Diversity The concept of the Trinity, as found in the Bible, has been a topic of much debate and discussion among Christians throughout history. While some view it as a foundational doctrine of the Christian faith, others question its authenticity and theological implications. However, one aspect of the Trinity that is often overlooked is its symbolic representation of unity and diversity within the Godhead. The Trinity, consisting of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is often seen as a perfect example of unity and diversity. Each person of the Trinity is distinct in their role and function, yet they are all united in their essence as one God. This unity and diversity mirrors the diversity found within the body of Christ, where individuals with different gifts and talents come together to form one unified body. Furthermore, the Trinity serves as a reminder of the importance of both unity and diversity within the Christian faith. Just as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit work together in perfect harmony, so too should Christians strive to work together in unity despite their differences. The Trinity challenges us to embrace diversity while maintaining a sense of unity in our beliefs and practices. In addition, the symbolism and metaphorical meaning of the Trinity can be seen in various aspects of Christian theology and doctrine. The Father represents the Creator and Sustainer of all things, the Son represents the Redeemer and Savior of humanity, and the Holy Spirit represents the Comforter and Guide for believers. Together, they form a complete picture of God's love and grace towards humanity. Overall, the Trinity serves as a powerful symbol of unity and diversity within the Christian faith, challenging believers to embrace both aspects in their walk with God. As Christians continue to explore and understand the implications of the Trinity verse in the Bible, they will gain a deeper appreciation for the richness and complexity of God's nature. The Trinity as a Model for Human Relationships the concept of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a fundamental belief in Christian theology. But beyond its theological implications, the Trinity can also serve as a model for human relationships. Just as the three persons of the Trinity are distinct yet united in purpose, so too can our relationships with others be characterized by unity and diversity. In the Trinity, we see perfect harmony and love between three distinct persons. This can inspire us to cultivate relationships that are marked by respect for individual differences while working towards common goals. Just as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit work together in perfect unity, we can strive to collaborate with others in a spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. Furthermore, the Trinity teaches us about the importance of selflessness and sacrificial love. 
Each person of the Trinity puts the needs of the others above their own, demonstrating a profound example of humility and service. In our own relationships, we can strive to emulate this selfless love by putting the needs of others before our own desires. Ultimately, the Trinity serves as a powerful model for how we can relate to one another in a way that is both loving and harmonious. By looking to the example of the Trinity, we can learn valuable lessons about unity, diversity, selflessness, and love that can enrich our relationships with others and bring us closer to living out the principles of Christian faith in our daily lives. Chapter 12 The Parallels Between the Trinity Verse and Other Religious Beliefs or Concepts The Trinity in Islam The concept of the Trinity, as central to Christian theology, has been a topic of debate and discussion for centuries. However, what many Christians may not realize is that the idea of a triune God is not unique to their faith. In fact, the concept of the Trinity can also be found in Islam, albeit with some distinct differences. In Islam, the idea of the Trinity is known as Ta'id, which means the oneness of God. Muslims believe in the absolute unity of God, without any partners or equals. This monotheistic belief is a fundamental tenet of Islam and is expressed in the Sha'ida, the declaration of faith that states, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. While Christians believe in a triune God consisting of three persons in one essence, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Muslims reject the idea of God having any partners or associates. According to Islamic teachings, attributing partners to God is considered the greatest sin, known as shirk. Despite these theological differences, the similarities between the Trinity and Christianity and the oneness of God and Islam are striking. Both religions emphasize the importance of monotheism and the worship of one true God. The debate among scholars about the authenticity of the Trinity verse in the Bible is reflective of the complex history and cultural influences that have shaped religious beliefs over time. For Christians seeking to understand the Trinity in a broader context, exploring its parallels with other religious beliefs, such as Ta'id and Islam, can provide valuable insights into the diversity and complexity of religious thought. By delving into the theological implications and historical origins of the Trinity verse, Christians can deepen their understanding of their own faith and engage in meaningful dialogue with people of other religious traditions. The Trinity in Hinduism While the concept of the Trinity is commonly associated with Christianity, it may come as a surprise to many that similar ideas can be found in other religious traditions, including Hinduism. In Hinduism, the concept of a triune deity can be seen in the form of the Trimurti, which consists of three main gods, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma is the creator god, responsible for bringing the universe into existence. Vishnu is the preserver, tasked with maintaining order and balance in the cosmos. Shiva, on the other hand, is the destroyer, who brings about the end of one cycle of creation to make way for the next. Just like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in Christianity, the Trimurti in Hinduism represents different aspects of the divine that work together in harmony. This parallel between the two traditions highlights the universal nature of the concept of a triune deity and its significance in shaping religious beliefs and practices. For Christians exploring the origins and implications of the Trinity verse in the Bible, understanding the similarities between their own faith and Hinduism can provide valuable insights. It prompts questions about how different cultures and religions have grappled with the complexities of the divine and the ways in which these beliefs have influenced each other over time. By delving into the Trinity in Hinduism, Christians can gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity of religious thought and the ways in which different traditions have sought to make sense of the mysteries of the divine. This exploration can enrich their understanding of their own faith and foster greater dialogue and understanding among different religious communities. Conclusion, Unveiling the Trinity Verse in the Bible, A Call to Reflection and Understanding In this exploration of the Trinity Verse and its place in the Bible, we have delved into the historical origins, theological implications, and cultural influences that have shaped its inclusion. The debate among scholars about its authenticity continues to spark curiosity and discussion within the Christian community. For Christians, Understanding the significance of the Trinity verse is crucial in comprehending the complex nature of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
the role of early church councils in establishing the Trinity doctrine cannot be overlooked, as it has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine throughout history. The textual evidence supporting the inclusion of the Trinity verse in the Bible is a topic of much debate, but its symbolic and metaphorical meaning cannot be denied. The parallels between the Trinity verse and other religious beliefs or concepts highlight the universal themes of divinity and unity present in various faith traditions. As Christians, it is important for us to reflect on the implications of the Trinity verse and how it shapes our understanding of God and our relationship with Him. This call to reflection and understanding invites us to engage with the complexities of our faith and to deepen our knowledge of the mysteries of the Trinity. May we continue to seek wisdom and insight as we explore the depths of the Trinity verse and its significance for our Christian journey. The concept of the Trinity, as understood by many Christians, is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible. The term Trinity is not found in the Bible, it is a theological interpretation of the nature of God based on various passages in the Bible. The doctrine of the Trinity was formulated over time as the early Christian church sought to understand and articulate the nature of God. It was the result of centuries of theological reflection and debate. The New Testament contains passages that have been interpreted to support the idea of the Trinity, such as the baptismal formula in Matthew 28 verse 19 where Jesus instructs His disciples to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Additionally, there are verses that refer to the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in a way that suggests their unity, such as 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 and 1 Peter 1 verse 2. The development of the doctrine of the Trinity involved the contributions of early church leaders, theologians, and councils, such as the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD and the Council of Constantinople in 381 AD. These councils sought to clarify and define the Christian understanding of the nature of God, leading to the formulation of the Nicene Creed, which articulates the doctrine of the Trinity as it is generally understood in many Christian traditions today. In summary, the doctrine of the Trinity was not a single verse that got into the Bible, but rather a theological interpretation and formulation that emerged over centuries of Christian thought and discussion, based on various passages and concepts found in the Bible.